Hello, I'm Michael, and this video is about working on my 82 Chevy C10 with a 6.2 liter diesel. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is replacing the accelerator cable, and I'm also going to show you how to adjust the idle on this vehicle, because I'll be right in that area. Um, the accelerator cable was really difficult to find for this year model, so I'm going to put in the description the information on where I found it, and in this video we're going to cover some of what it looks like when you get the right one uh, because a lot of the eBay and Rock Auto and AutoZone and all of those are selling the same cable and it is not the right cable for this vehicle even though they say it is. So we'll go over that. Um, if you find this video helpful please like the video, share it, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you very much. This is the original style cable that comes on this 82 Chevy. You'll notice there is a little kind of rubber eyelet here. Um, everything else is pretty similar to this other cable, but this is the key difference. So this is what you will typically get if you get on eBay, Rock Auto, AutoZone, um, everywhere that I've looked, this is what you receive. So this visually is different because it has this little metal eyelet instead of the rubber piece here. Now, the challenge is when they ship this to you, this is too small to fit over the spot where this goes. So I thought, okay, no big deal. I just took a drill and drilled this out and made it big enough. It attached, everything seemed okay, but I came to find out that the distance from here where it mounts on the motor to here is too short so it's pulling the accelerator so at idle you're idling incredibly high so because this distance from here to here is shorter then while you've got it installed it pulls back on the accelerator so instead of your accelerator being all the way down it's starting the motor at high rpms which is not good because you cannot turn down the rpms because the cable's too short as you can see, the original, even though it says 39 inches, is slightly longer than what everybody says fits this vehicle now. So everybody that ships one to you is going to try to ship you this. All right, so when you try to Google 14038644, which is the correct part number, you're going to get results. They're going to be like this Pioneer CA-8503, or you're going to get this ATP Y-270 that I'll show you next. These are not matches for this vehicle. So these are the two part numbers you want to avoid. If it says 8503 or this Y270, avoid these parts. And a lot of times you'll find somewhere in the description it'll list those part numbers. So Hillbilly Wizard is the only place I've found the exact matching cable. What's really obnoxious is on eBay, when I bought one of these, the photo showed this, but this is what I received. So the photo did not match the item. So you're going to have to be real careful and be ready to send stuff back. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our air cleaner out of the way. Alright, so this is the cable we're going to be replacing. So you're supposed to be able to slide this in here and it'll lock it in place because this is the mounting point on the motor. So obviously, mine, the rubber has come off, so this just slides in and out. Alright, getting the old ones off is pretty simple. I'm just going to pull this cotter pin. So as you can see, the old one has this rubber gasket. The hole is much bigger than what they sell as a new one. And keep in mind, I already drilled this out. All right, so this is where it goes through the firewall right here. You can see this spot. So we're going to go on the inside, um, top of the accelerator, and just release it from there. It's a pretty simple thing to take off. See right 
here. So what we're gonna try to do. Okay, see that? How it pulls out, it's gonna get that plastic pin out of the top of the accelerator. This plastic pin actually sticks through and kind of grips on the back side. So you may have to squeeze it. Get some pliers on it. Now on mine, I've already taken mine off once. So it's a lot easier to work with. Okay, so now we're loose. If you can see that very well. Okay. Now, the other part of this is that this plastic piece has got a grip, kind of a snap in from the back side. So, from the firewall inside the motor area, it's going to snap into the firewall metal. Um, so, you may have to come in on this side with a screwdriver or something to kind of pry on it. Um, you're taking it out, so it doesn't really matter. You can just rip it out and break it. All right, so here's where we're coming out of the firewall. We've uh, squeezed it on the inside to kind of release the clips, and now I'm just gonna rip it out. Nice little snap. Snug as a bug and rug. Now, this is going to slide over here. And this is going to go down and get on our pin. This little guy is going to go right on here. I'm going to insert this between. rubber. Okay, so that gives us a permanent mount there. We're going to slide on our piece onto the pin. Looks like this new one is not quite the same either. Get it on, but I'm not gonna be able to keep some metal, some yellow piece, plastic piece. Okay, so my new piece had a rubber gasket and a little plastic piece on it. I'm gonna have to take that off um, because it is too small to go on the pin down there. If you can see that pin, so I've got a cotter pin that should be big enough to keep that from coming off. Um, it came with, my particular one came with this piece, which would also be big enough. Um, I think my cotter pin is going to be fine. Um, I've never really used this little guy, so I don't know how effective it would be. So, I'm just going to go with the cotter pin. So we've got our mount up here, good and solid. Our cotter pin down below. Now we got to mount it, connect to the accelerator on the inside. Okay. So we've got a little piece 
here. Should be able to just slip it over the top of the accelerator. Okay, so I've got it over the accelerator. Now what I want to do is I want to get this plastic piece embedded. So I should be able to just pull the accelerator like that. See a little snap. So now the plastic stays with it. And now when we accelerate, we're going to pull, we're going to push down the accelerator, which will pull the wire. Okay, so it's got some good movement to it. So we should be golden. All right, so this is the area where you're going to adjust the idle. So this is a spring-loaded device that's going to push up against this plunger. You can see that it's going to pop back when it's pulled. So your accelerator cable is going to pull on that, and then when it you let off the accelerator, it's going to pop back to where that plunger spot is. So you're going to want to stick a socket on the end of that plunger, and then you can rotate it to bring it in or out to speed up or slow down the idle. So, everything looks good, accelerator's working. Hey, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Um, it's fun to try to share creative solutions for people and uh, to try to help others. So if you would, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, your subscription really helps me to grow and to be able to continue to do this. Thank you so much.